Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to clean up some disk space on your Windows 10 computer to hopefully free up some space. So this should definitely be a nice little tutorial for you guys if you're looking to do some basic system maintenance. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu here. And you want to type in disk cleanup and best match that comes up should say disk cleanup directly above desktop app so you want to left click on that one time to open it up Okay, so now underneath disk cleanup, it will give you a breakdown of what can be found and removed from your computer usually safely. So you can see we have downloaded program files, uh, temporary internet files as well, and you can check mark in other fields here as well to delete more. If you wanted to delete some temporary files, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal because it says you can delete temporary files that have not been modified in over a week. You can check mark in here as well, and you can see the size uh, that we're going to be clearing up is increasing. So there's quite a few options in here. And then I'd also even recommend clicking on clean up system files if you want to go through even more additional files. So if you wanted to go through Windows update files and whatnot that have been basically stored in the system even though they're no longer necessary. So if you want to go and do even more cleanup, you can go into clean up system files. But for this video, I'm just going to go through these options here. And I'm going to select OK. And then it's going to ask you, sure you want to permanently delete these files? delete the files and like I said you can go through the other option as well if you wanted to go and delete more but you can see we just freed up about 170 megabytes without too much of a hassle so very quick depending on how often you run that scan if you ever run disk cleanup before it might take a little bit longer the first time but it's definitely worth freeing up a little bit of disk space so I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial Goodbye.